We're probably all familiar with this equation. Most students, including myself, simply memorized it and moved on, making it just another tool in our toolbox. But by doing so, we miss out on the hidden, beautiful geometry behind this jumble of symbols. The key to understanding it is the humble square. Say you're given this equation to solve, x squared plus 2x equals 15. x squared represents a square of side length x, as the area of a square is simply its side length squared. Continuing our geometrical representation, 2x represents a rectangle with side lengths 2 and x. Let's forget about the 15 for now and focus on the left side of this equation. Since the shapes are being added together, let's try and find a way to combine them. And since squares are so elegantly represented in math, we'll try to keep things as squares. That rules out tacking on the rectangle as shown, which simply forms a larger rectangle. What if we tried to form a square instead? If we cut 2x in half, we can then combine the shapes along the x's, forming an almost square. The only thing we're missing is another square. It's pretty easy to see that the length of the missing square is 1. Let's go ahead and complete the square by adding our new 1 by 1 square to both sides of this equation. Of course, the area of a 1 by 1 square is just 1, so our equation now reads, a square with side length x plus 1 has an area of 16. You might already see the beauty of this arrangement. 16 itself is the area of a square with side length 4. The rest of the problem is trivially easy to solve, as we know the squares are equivalent. And indeed, 3 is a valid solution to this equation. 